So the evolution of Unit 4 ERP from a reporting point of view. If we have a look at this, then way back in the Aggresso days, we were used to seeing uh, what were called browser templates. Um, they could create powerful and complex inquiries. We could save those inquiries. We could link inquiries. We could do all sorts of things with them. That was good. We all know the familiar sort of look in the, in the desktop. So you've got a setup uh, a tab, a search tab, and a dear old results tab. Um, and that's all fairly, fairly standard. Associated with that was a, a tool called Analyzer, which was a little Sigma button in the, in the menu. And what that enabled me to do was take that data and then to show it in different ways. So we could have a cross tab, um, a, a sort of a, a call out folder type structure, pie charts, bar charts, all of that, that good, good stuff. Then around this time, Unit 4 really realized that we needed to get out into the web and they needed uh, a tool to report in the web. So at that time, you were still writing browsers, and indeed today, you're still writing browsers in the desktop and then publishing them out to the web. But there was also uh, various reports that were available from within in the web itself. So those were reports like this, so a requisition, a workflow, inquiry, or um, an age debt report, that kind of simple thing was available within in the web. There was charts you could present in the web too, um, and a very rudimentary chart setup, which was a little bit cumbersome to, to work out, but once you got it sorted, you could get some pretty pictures which you could then use, which was great. If you then think of the evolution, Unit 4 then what came out with the idea of information pages. And this info, these information pages are basically grouping browser templates and other things together to try to create um, a dashboard. So here we go. We have a, a dashboard here uh, with a, a report on age debt. We've got the total, total supply of debt. That's a good position to be in, I guess. Oh, hold on. I've gone the wrong way. I think I clicked the wrong thing here. And then down here, you can have some reports embedded within that. Okay, so this is a, a, a dashboard.